I am aware. Okay, I'm aware it's unlisted. Now, I told you for the 10th time, I'm a police officer. Let's get this straight. Detective Mike Logan, badge number nine. Warrant, huh? Warrant this lady, all right? I get a warrant, it's gonna take me three hours. Now, you listen to me. You listen to me! Hold on. Hi. To whom am I speaking, please? I love this, Schwader. This is Sergeant Greavy. Could you connect me with your central office supervisor? Maybe we can straighten some of this out. Thank you so much. Tell you what, I'll make it really easy. I'll call legal aid. They'll set up a room. You come in, in and out, no hanging around. Give me a quarter. What? Give me a quarter. What are you doing? Huh? Hey, that's great, Max. Now we got even more unusable statements. Think so? Who are you calling? Marie. Think they have a reasonable expectation of privacy right now? Oh, hi, honey, it's me. I'll probably be uh, late tonight. You're out of your mind, you know that. Stone's gonna blow a fuse over this and Craig will strap us to our desk forever. Wrong, detective. They are not under arrest. Mm. Because if he is, I'm not taking the fall, and neither should you. We didn't do her. He got off on it. So what's all this crap about keeping our mouth shut? He tells us they got no evidence because he's the only one who will match the load, and he gets picked up and rolls? Screw him. Look, look, we know what we did. We just tell it straight. All we did was hold her, maybe some other stupid stuff, but we're not riding down for pruding. All right, so it's Dammy. Do I have to run a list here, Stone? Miranda, Bartolomeo, the Supreme Court's Minnick decision. The whole thing's illegally obtained. They were both represented by counsel. Not for the past two months, they weren't. There were no charges pending. There was no accusatory instrument pending, no outstanding indictment. I'm sure you know as well as I do that Minnick provides nothing new in New York. What about their privacy? The court's stance on the expectation of privacy is fairly clear. Please, they were sitting in a cop car. With the doors wide open in the middle of the day in a city street. You think there's a greater expectation of privacy there than on a cordless phone? I don't know. His parents, his boss, his co-workers, his neighbors. No one knew this guy was gay. And they're out there, I don't see him either. Think a lot of cops are gay? No way, man. The department's got a special test. They look you in the eye. If your left eye blinks before your right eye, they know you're gay. <laughs> they say one in ten, Max. That's a lot. They just fade in. Silk jacket? Five to one, he's not in any of these. Good news and bad news. Let me guess. The good news is somebody just walked in and confessed. Good news is they found the gun. Empty lot six blocks away. Bad news, wiped clean. Registration? You're gonna love this. Your Vic, Bobby Holland. Terrific. Repetition gives you tone, weight gives you bulk. I go for tone. What about Paige Bartlett? She went for tone, too. Seen her recently? Mm -mm, not this week. Hey, help me with this, would you? Grab my forearms while I let them back. Ladies, you see anybody at all? No, I ain't hear nothing, I ain't see nothing. That's what she's good at, nothing. He was black, kid. Came out that door, run. You get a look at him? Designated driver says uh, he saw a kid. How many fingers? Three. 
<laughs> Lots of noise. Plenty of warning. Jolene. Well, you can call me Mike. I'll call you Daisy if you want. But what's your real name? Mike. Where are you from, Mike? <laughs> Upstate. I sure hope you have a plane ticket. Take offense if I ask you a personal question. No, not at all. Are you a cop? <laughs> no, why? Your shoes. Brogans. And knit socks. Cop shoes. Cop socks. But I'm not a cop. It's 220 for a half hour, 250 for an hour. And for that you get straight or half and half. What do you say to that, Mike? I say you're under arrest. How you doing? You ain't cool. Get out of my school. I'm no fool. You see a guy with a birthmark on his face? The name of the game is Finding Faith. Silk is a name, and he's to blame. Silky? Wouldn't tell them nothing. Silky who? Ford lives over on Vice Avenue, 108. you with assault on Dee Dee. Max! Did he do this to you? Carla? You stupid cow. No! You're under arrest! Oh, tough! Daddy, Pookie's scared. Pookie doesn't want to go to jail. You see? You see what I got to put up with? You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. Anything you do say may be used against you in a court of law. 